Welcome, well people. Welcome back to the channel, fam. I wasn't supposed to be here today. I was, super, I was supposed to be playing soccer this morning, playing football this morning with the boys. But rain start fall, show up, them never show up. So I am back just before the game started. I was going to, I wasn't going to watch this game. I was going to play ball, relax, take my mind off it, and come back and check the results. But here I am. Here I am. Here I am. going to be nerve-wracking it's going to be very much nerve-wracking but we can do this we have to do this we need to do this matter of fact let's do this let's fucking do this glory glory my united i heard there were protest protests earlier this this morning against glazers there should be protests against sir jim ratcliffe as well fam this man isn't a billionaire this man's a loner just like the first set of fucking people that take over Manchester United in the early 2000s. Loners again. There's a guy bank and a big money. They need to go. They need to go. They need to leave. They definitely need to leave. And just, just go. Please. And, and bring surgeon Sir with you. Carry him with you. Let him go invest somewhere else, Barry. Go! Yes. So, well. so. And side, Rashad, well done, man. Rashad, they look kind of soft, though. Well, boy, parade. Suck yourself. Move your bum buck like. Move Finally, it's done. Squeaky bum time, fam, but it's done. Listen, Manchester United won, Aston Villa nil. Finally, it's over. Listen, this game was good. It was everything, and it was troubling for me at the same time. I'm not going to lie. It was very troubling. But perfect decisions made at the perfect time. So I would say, yeah. Very good win. Three points on the board. Let's go. All you haters out there. Sorry. I guess. <laughs> yes. What did we just see? One. Bruno Fernandez. Again. It's almost like it's almost like a a, a set. It's, it's almost like something that is written down in my notes every time in play football. Every time Manchester United plays, Bruno Fernandez is written down on my notes. You know why? Because he's a fucking baller, fam. I'm telling you already, I'm going to tell you again, he's a fucking baller, fam. Scored today, played on the right-hand side, not the central attacking midfielder in the number eight position. Played on the right-hand side, right where, right where Anthony used to play, and just killed it. Just absolutely killed it. Big up yourself, Bruno. Fucking Fernandez, fam. What did we just see? Rashford. Rashford's touch today was horrible, fam. Rashford's touch today was fucking horrible. His first touch was killing the game every time. He gets, uh, he gets behind them because I, I can tell you right now, Aston Villa plays a high line, which means your keeper is high as well. So any little slight chance, time you run perfectly and you're good. But Rashford's first touch was just shit. Every time he touched the ball, there's Mings on him ass. Every game. It, make, it made Mings look good today. He made Mings look good. And that's not that's something you have to say because Mings is shit. And make Mings look good because of his first touch. What did we... Just see, Casemiro. Just see fucking Miro, fam. This man is a real, a real, this man is the epitome of what football is and should be. Every time in play football, you can see that the effect that he has on the team itself. How much him pay? 70 mil? It's not enough. I, didn't, I think Manchester United got, I think Manchester United robbed Real Madrid this time because that 70 mil. Not enough. Married paid it off already. Now the first three games we play. Not now anyway. Let alone now. It's a mad no bomb buckler. I tell you the truth. It's sad. Sad but true. I tell you the truth. Without a doubt. Casimiro. What did we just see? Victor Lindelof and Shaw. The epitome of defensive football. Victor, we are talking about Gabriel and Saliba. Victor Lindelof and Shaw fam. Victor Lindelof and Shaw. Martinez has to go fight to get back in that deal. <laughs> nah, joke, I mix it. But you know what I mean. This man, these two guys, yo, 
You see Lindelof, Lindelof today? Did you see Victor Lindelof today? Making tackles, last minute tackles, clearing the ball off of the line. Oh, this man was, listen, listen, Victor Lindelof today, he was the shit, the shit, shit, shit. And of course, Luxa being the great Luxa that he is, big of himself. What did we just see? Eric Ten Hag fam. Finally, Eric Ten Hag making the right decisions at the right time. You know, the only thing I would give him, I would not give him props for, is keep his hand rush for that long. I think Martial should have come on about 70 minutes in, but again, he made the substitutions at the right time. When when Ericsson came off, brought on Fred, when Sancho came off, brought on Anthony, it was perfect decisions at the right time because they needed the inset, the inject of energy and stuff in the team. I love the good good substitutions. Managing the team perfectly. On to the next farm. On to Chelsea. People, bless yourself. Bless of others. Manners.